video is going to be a review of the Dixon Ticonderoga number two pencils. These are very popular pencils among students and other people who prefer wooden pencils. However, if you're more of an artist, these are not artist pencils by any means. These only really have the number two HB thick like softness. So if you want a variety of softness i'm not entirely sure you can get that with these pencils as far as i'm concerned i'm pretty sure that the smallest pack that these come in is a 12 pack and so therefore i'm not entirely sure how you know it would be if you wanted one pencil instead of like an entire 12 but knowing how pencils are you're probably going to want a 12 pack anyway because if you're like most people, you're going to lose your pencils pretty quickly, especially if they're like these wooden type pencils. And so now I'm just showing you the kind of like range of value you can get with this pencil. So as you can see, it's a pretty large range for a pretty standard pencil. This pencil is meant more for students than for artists, like I said before, but there's still a good amount of range. And I think the pencil is pretty soft um it's like a good in between it's not super soft it's not super hard so i really really like the softness of the pencil but i think that that just depends on who you are and now i'm just erasing it and as you can see it literally erases so nicely i'm pretty sure they claim to have the best pen er, pencil eraser and you know i can see it i can see it the, as you can see it just it's gone. The pencil is all gone and it's literally so... It's... The eraser is just perfect. It's, it's, it's a chef's kiss, you know. Love, love the eraser. And here's just a close-up of the eraser. There are quite a bit of eraser shavings and I don't really know if they clump together because they kind of clump together. But there's not a lot to really clump together in the first place, so... If you have a clump of erasure shavings, I guess you can put these in that clump. I don't know if that's something you care about, but you know, if you like your erasure shavings to clump, I'm pretty sure these erasure shavings clump. And so now I'm going to see how these smudge for various thickness and they don't really smudge. So if that's something that like bothers you, you know, they, they don't smudge, but like, I'm pretty sure if you wanted them to smudge, you can get them to smudge a little bit, but they don't smudge a ton lot. And you can get a lot of different line thickness. I'm not entirely sure if you know, but you can actually get different line thicknesses with pencils and do calligraphy with them with your thin and thick downstrokes. And here's just a close up of calligraphy and also mono line. And you just kind of do this by like, pressing harder on your pencil especially if it has like a dulled tip and you get this like thickness it works really nice with softer pencils and i think this has a really nice softness for that because it's really soft but it's also firm enough to get a nice upstroke so these are really good for if you ever want to practice your lettering just because you know you want to also since these have a good firmness to them as well as softness you can also still get monoline kind of writing and now you can just listen to it for a while okay so now there are just a few more close-ups so that the sound so that i can pretty much just end the video so a quick recap these are the Dixon Ticonderoga number two pencils that are pretty soft and also kind of good firmness. They are, you know, they have a really, really nice eraser. You can get a good different range of thicknesses and also a value and they're just a lot of fun to use. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you like this pencil review, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I make new videos on stationery, calligraphy, and art. And hit that bell notification to get notified every time I make a new video on every Monday. Comment down below on what you think of these pencils, whether or not you prefer mechanical pencils or wooden pencils, and what your favorite pencil is. And check the description box below for more videos to watch until, until next week's video. And yeah, don't forget to like, 
comment, subscribe, hit the bell, check the description box, and remember to have a happy Monday. Bye-bye!